kept on status. I rock more colors than parrots. So don't get embarrassed. Rush. Populating my broskies. Was populating my broskies. Child's Play Beats was popping. Roscoe James, what up? Cash Rules, what up? Alberto Cabrera was really good. Irvin Jenkins, NYC was popping. Troy Wright was really. Paul P, what up? Movie Emperor was populating. NYC, C Blood was popping. Barnell, what up? CT in the building, you already snow. Clifford Buchanan was popping. Potential Hooligan was popping. PA pulled up. Yer. That's really good. The Z Boy is on here, you heard? CT was really good. I'm about to. I'm about to light, I'm about to light CT ass up. I'm about to light CT ass up in the next couple of days, you heard? Word up. Oh, Cyrus was mine. Light my slim blunt up, man, but there's too many kids walking by, man. I'm waiting for these kids to get out of here so I can light up my slim blunt. Chuck Miller was popping. D. Ramsey was really good. Point guard was popping. I'm trying to light this slim blunt up, man. There's too many motherfucking students around here, man. I'm going to violate. Geronimo was popping. Dykeman in the building was really good. Project Beamish was really, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I ain't, I ain't probably ain't getting myself into nothing, man, because I got to get up early. I got to get up slurly. Word up. Romy 16 was popping. This, swat, this smart watch ain't shit, nigga. I need a, I need a Rolex, shirt. I need a solid gold Rolex. That's what I need, and I don't want nothing smart about my watch. You're, if I had the money, it wouldn't be nothing smart about my watch. Sure. My watch would be very dumb. I should be very dumb and antique. I want an old school Rolex, too. I don't even want no new shit. I want some old shit from 87. Straight gold 80s, 1987 shit, nigga. What's poppin'? Nico Waters was popping. Mike Green was really good. Forever doing me. Barcelona gang in the building. You already snow bunny. You already snow cone. Miller Ave was popping. East New York was really good. B Moore was popping. Appreciate you, my nigga Tyshawn Moore. Appreciate you, bro. Real Rebel was popping. Mike Green was really. All right, man. We ain't for these. We ain't for these kids to get up, get from up over here, man. So I can light this slim blows up. I'm about to light it anyway, man. What the fuck is this, man? Same 1983. This shit legal, no. I still don't be smoking around no kids, though. Not even high school kids. Even though them niggas smoke more than me. But I don't smoke around them. If I see a kid coming past me, a high school kid or something, I take the blunt out of my lips, man. So I ain't trying to make no impression on them like smoking is cool. You know what I mean? 
you know, the high school students be thinking smoking is cool. Ramsey was pat. Was pat. <laughs> Bro was looking around. She ain't see me. My tents is stupid dark. You heard? Was pat. So I'm gonna start running up to these. Was pat. Was pat. You heard? <laughs> So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some video of me just walking up to random people in the city and be like, "We spat. We spat." Like the fuck that nigga said, man. You heard? E Bell was populated. I'm at a school right now. I'm not even going to mention what school I'm at right now, but um, shit is racist, my nigga. I'm going to tell you why it's racist. It's a specialized school, and, you know, you got to take a specialized test to get in that school, and it ain't no black people in this motherfucking school, nigga. I seen, like, two black kids out of 300. You heard? Like, that shit crazy, bro. Several specialized schools in New York, my nigga. And them shits is all racist. Straight up. They be blocking niggas the fuck up out of there. I'm, I'm looking at one black student right now. I'm ready to applaud her. That's my word. I'm ready to applaud her ass. Black mother looking at me like, what the fuck you looking at? I'm looking at you like, man, listen. Your kid go to that specialized school, y'all some bad motherfuckers. YGTV was popping. Taekwon Broker was popping. Staten Island in the building. Y'all let them stories flow, bro. You heard? Them stories be flowing, baby. I let them flow to me. The correct stories that's supposed to be out to get out, and the ones that don't supposed to get out, they ain't gonna come out, my nigga. So you know what I mean? I let the stories flow. Let them flow, baby. Adam G was populating my genie. Funny thing about life, no matter what race, color, or creed, parents is parents, my nigga. All parents act the same. No matter what race, color, or creed, bro. You're gonna be corny to your kids. You're gonna be lame to your kids. You're gonna be embarrassing to your kids. No matter how cool or fly you think you are, you embarrassing to your kids, bro. Or you're not a parent. You're Richie H was populated. Uber Sanchez, what up? Feelings was populated. My nigga know the ledge was populated, my broski. Popped up at his son, <laughs> nigga popped up at his son school with the shorts on with mad patches of leg hair. Shit just got patches of leg hair, mad missing leg hair. Like, you embarrassing your kid, bro, with that leg hair. I'm just analyzing parents right now. 
me see who's embarrassing their kids. Mom, you're looking like a major pothead like me, man. Don't go up to your kid's school after smoking an ounce of that trom. You heard? You're embarrassing your kid. Mom's just walking past up like she just smoked the ounce to the face. She's like, good, good job, Junior. Good job, Junior. But I can't wait to get back to that ounce. Slave shackle tats is on deck, you heard? You know, I gotta show them off. Ooh! Ooh, them slavies. Them slavies, baby. Slavey, baby. You heard? I gotta get me some new goddamn tattoos, man. I'm a sucker. I only got. I got a jail tattoo, too. It's my jail shit, bro. My jail shit. I had this shit. I had this shit like 24 years. This shit held up for a jail tat that was done with a motherfucking motorcycle. I mean, a, um, a motor from a Walkman and a guitar string. This shit held up. And the nigga who designed my tattoo. You want to hear some crazy trivia? The nigga who designed my jail tattoo, drew my faces and all of that. I mean, did the whole joint. My little jail tat. You heard? The dude who designed it is the dude from the education of Sonny Carson that was with Akbar, Akbar, the Spanish dude that was with Akbar in the school. We was like, let's settle this now. He said, why wait, why wait for later? Well, we could settle right here. You feel what I'm saying? The Spanish nigga that was with Wolf, with Akbar, son was in Hudson. You heard? He designed, he used to draw and shit. You know what I mean? But he designed these little, this little tat, little jail joint. You heard good Bible verses on that. You heard good strong Bible verses, good pop quote, so much pain. You know, that's a straight pop quote right there. So much pain, my nigga. You heard? Shit real. But that tat me. Got the date I caught my case, you feel what I'm saying? Shit serious, bro. Got that shit with a good guitar string. If you ain't never have a tattoo with a jail guitar string, you don't understand, baby. Shit painful. This shit ain't even my tattoo, this shit is scarification. This is just bubble scars all over my arm, you feel what I'm saying? Damn, they come by with some Smally shores. But yeah, my shit held up decently. And throw, when I throw, throw a little Vaseline on this, held up held up decently for 24 years. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. Uh-oh. Is that another black student? African. You know them Africans don't be playing, baby. They go for the gold. They after the gold and after that the platinum. They ain't playing no games. They out here trying to win. African pops out here. He ain't playing no games, nigga. His daughter probably a genius. He out here trying to win, nigga. Fuck. That nigga's talking about. Yerk. That nigga trying to win. Yerk. I can't act like I can't pretend like I've been following basketball, man. And you know I'm a die-hard Knicks fan, man. So you know, if the Knicks ain't in it, man, I ain't too enthused about it. I'm tired of seeing the Warriors. Just tired of everybody but the Knicks. Sure, if the Knicks ain't in that championship, nigga. I ain't fucking with it. Yeah. Knicks are the Nets. Nets is as far as I go. But the Knickies, the New York Knickerbockers. I seen a dude today with a big ass Knicks t-shirt on with a Knicks hat. Know what I mean, white dude, know what I mean? I just had to get that nigga to salute like this. It's rough being a Knicks fan, baby. We a brotherhood. You heard when you gotta wear that orange, when you gotta wear that orange and blue and blue proudly and hold your head up, it takes a strong motherfucking individual to be a Knicks fan and hold his head up high in this world. You heard? So we a certain breed of motherfuckers. So when I see a nigga that's repping the Knicks, I salute him. I'll be like this. I don't care what color, race. I'm like this. I see you, my nigga. It's rough. It's rough out here. 
It's rough for us. Yep. Yeah, my niggas. You know what I mean? Shit like being a Mets fan. They, the Mets and them Yankees is whooping ass. The Mets and them Yankees is whooping ass, my nigga. Ooh, if we get to see a motherfucking Subway series, if we get to see a Subway series, I'm going to do 100,000 subscribers by January. If we see a Subway series, I'm, I'm going to reach 100,000 subscribers by New Year's, baby. That would be dope. So wavy was popping. The Mets and Yankees is whooping ass, nigga. New York doing a dang tang. They doing a tang. Right, this weed that I'm smoking is mad loud, though. Yeah. This ain't that quiet. This that loud. I be I be buying. Sometimes I stop I stop messing with a spot that I, I be, and then I go back to that. These niggas got that heat. That's my word. Sometimes you fall off track, then you go back, you be like, damn, this is the weed I was neglecting for a week. Shit is outstanding. <laughs> All right, I gotta put this out. This shit is OD. Yeah, man. Piff Powers was populating. Richard Reed was really good. Peace. some type of event at this school because like 400 motherfuckers coming out here. You heard? Niggas nerd game is heavy. Niggas nerd game is heavy. I, I, don't mean, I, I ain't talking about y'all, bros. I feel bad. <laughs> That's fucked up. I say, yo, niggas nerd game is heavy. And three white boys look back at me like, awesome. I'm like, nah, man. I, wasn't, I was talking about the Indian kids that was in front of y'all, man. You know what I mean? But damn, you know they go to specialized school, niggas always calling them nerds, that's fucked up, man. Them niggas was ready to pop off on me, they was like this. Calling us nerds? Like, nah, not y'all, son. You know what I mean? I don't want to hurt y'all niggas' young, young, fragile egos, man. Make y'all niggas go bust y'all gun or something, like. But niggas' nerd game is up, man. Niggas walking past with lacrosse, lacrosse sticks, you heard? Heavy lacrosse sticks. Heavy lacrosse sticks. This cross stick came kind of close to my car too. But you know, I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. But um, heavy lacrosse sticks, heavy plaid. Heavy plaid shirts is walking past. Heavy big stripes. When you see niggas with big stupid stripes on a shirt, them niggas is intelligent human beings that's gonna be scientists and doctors. You can believe that shit, nigga. You see a nigga wearing a motherfucking some, some some beige khakis. Nigga had on some beige khakis with a big with a crazy plaid shirt and some crazy long ass choked up motherfucking um nigga had on some choked up motherfucking <laughs> Now nah, I'm not even shitting on a nigga, I'm just saying that nigga gonna be a doctor. When you rockin' shit like that, nigga had on some sperries. Nigga had on some sperries, choked up sperries. You know what I mean? With a good plaid shirt, nigga. Some glasses. Nigga, slacks was dumb tight. That nigga gonna be making 300000 in the next two years, my nigga. That nigga gonna be giving me a checkup. You heard? I'm gonna be going, to, hey, doc, nigga, 19. You heard me like this, hey, doc, man. I don't know, man. I've been having pains in my abdomen. Like, turn around. Turn around. Take that shit off. Nigga, 19 cash. Heard? Nigga make 300000 a year, got a condo in Riverdale, and a Benz. Nigga 19. Fuck with them Indian niggas if you want to, nigga. Them niggas be 19 with a condo. Heard? Be the head surgeon. 
appreciate that cash app donation, my nigga. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the brothers that be hitting up that slash app. You heard dollar sign gem pop fan. I ain't no shame in my game. Shout out to y'all individuals who be hitting that gem pop PayPal. Some of y'all be hitting that gem pop PayPal up. I got two PayPal's. Some of y'all be hitting my personal join up. Some of y'all be hitting my gem pop join up. That's why my stream is messing up, man, because Lele is in the building. They sent Yo, funny shit. Somebody hit me up the other day. They late. Like, I be serious when I be saying Lele got that mob. Somebody hit me up. was like, man, them niggas going to go to jail doing that shit. I'm like, nah, son. I'm like, we just be fucking with Lele, man. You heard? But you go to that room three if you want to. I ain't even going to tell y'all what's in there waiting. Y'all already know what's in that in that room three waiting for y'all. Y'all go to room three trying to fuck Lele if y'all want to, nigga. Heard? It's a nigga from Baisley Projects is in there with her right now. It's a nigga from Baisley that just came home from doing 11. You heard? She be rotating the team. Tonight, she got a nigga from Baisley who just came home from doing 11, right? Now I mean, this is, her, this is her lineup tonight. If you go to room three trying to fuck with Lele, you're going to run into that nigga, a nigga from Baisley who just came home from doing 11 cash, you heard? He hungry out here. Now I mean? Then she got a nigga from motherfucking the Bamas in East New York. She got a nigga from the Bamas in East New York. That nigga been on the run for 23 years, you heard? That nigga ain't been able to come around the way for 23 years. He on the run, so you know how he giving it up. He trying to stick anything moving. You heard? She got a nigga from Baisley, a nigga from the Bamas in East New York. You heard? She got a nigga from motherfucking Johnson in East Harlem. You heard? She got an old guard body nigga from Howard Projects that just did 37. You heard? Nigga just did 37. <laughs> Fuck with Lele if you want to, nigga. You go over there to see Lele with that motherfucking. You already know, nigga. Come over there with some Chinese food if you want to, nigga. Lele be like, yo, bring some Chinese food. You go over there with a big $20 order of some Chinese food if you want to, nigga. You heard with an eighth of some weed, nigga. All of them niggas gonna jump you for that, nigga. I'm like, yo, Lele, I thought you I thought you was gonna fuck. Them niggas coming for that Chinese food, nigga. Be like, yo, tell that nigga, yo. Tell him to get the rib tips, fried them shits with the sauce. Tell him to get the barbecue sauce on the rib tips and hot sauce. Nigga coming through thinking he getting some pussy. Nigga got the big stupid order of Chinese food, rib tips, chicken wings, shrimp rolls, wong tong soup. He trying to stun off and pop up at the chick crib with a bunch of Chinese food and a blunt. Got the blunt rolled up. Know what I mean? Got one of these shits. Look. Nigga got one of these shits in his pocket. Fucking with niggas. Look, nigga going to see Lele with one of these, man. <laughs> nigga going to see Lele with one of these, man. You heard? Nigga gonna be like this. Where that henny at, nigga? They gonna whoop your ass when they see how small that bottle of henny is, nigga. Be like yo nigga, you tried to come over there and fuck with that small shit, nigga. Yo, fuck that nigga up. Word up, son. All type of pumas and shell to Adidas gonna be stomping you out, fucking with Lele. You go try to fuck Lele in that room three if you want to, nigga. All type of pumas and Elise's. Now I mean, all type of Elise's gonna be stomping you out, my nigga. Spot built. I told you, man, she fuck with that nigga Skibo from Bronx River, the only nigga that wears spot belts. Nigga, the only nigga in New York still rocking spot belts. 
Nigga got a nigga wearing them. She be fucking with niggas wearing them, them, them spider avias. You know them avias that had the spider on them? Them avia arc shits. Them shits ended up in bargain, bargains, hunters, and centers for 10 cash. They came out strong. They tried to come out strong, 100 cash. Them shits was in motherfucking Walmart for $9.99 after a year. Them avia spiders? A lot of y'all niggas had them avia spiders, my nigga. You heard? The jacket and all that. They had the jacket with the spider on it and all of that. That shit flopped big time. Straight up. But yeah, I'm just letting y'all niggas know, man. Don't fuck with um, Lele, man. Because Lele fuck with a bunch of ex-felon old, old school thugs with brass knuckles and, and blackjacks. A lot of y'all niggas don't even know what a blackjack is. That's how old them niggas is. She fuck with niggas who got blackjacks. Heard? Nigga, go upside your head with that blackjack. You won't even know what happened to you, my nigga. That's a fact. Lele fucking with them niggas that be wearing gloves. With the fingers out. You know them uncle gloves? Them shits your uncle that play handball be rocking? Lele coming with them. She got them niggas with them gloves, my nigga. She be fucking with the niggas that niggas used to be handball champions in the hood. You heard? She fucking with niggas who won handball tournaments, nigga. You heard? Now a nigga, oh, he can't move on a handball court like that. He out there robbing with Lele, man. You know what I mean, that nigga done took five. That nigga done took five Brownsville. The nigga done took five Brownsville handball tournaments, niggas. It's over for him. He don't got no other life. Now he just out there with Lele. You heard looking for niggas like you to pop up. Get one of these $10 bottles of Henny, nigga. You heard? Straight up. I'm not a drinker, man. Like, I've never literally... I've literally never really been drunk. Like, I can't ever say... Maybe once in my, when I was a, a young ass kid, the night before I turned myself in and went to court and had to turn myself in and do that six years, you heard? I motherfucking drank some Cisco, heavy Cisco. So, you know, I may have been a little drunk then, but I wasn't throwing up drunk. I never really been like that before. So when I drink, I drink lightly, my nigga. I drink responsibly. I'm gonna keep it real with you. you know what I mean, not even more no positive shit. But I drink responsibly. I don't be, I don't get crazy when I drink, my nigga. I told y'all niggas the other day I drank some motherfucking bourbon. I drank that shit too fast. That shit had me feeling like shit. I was like, I'm good. I ain't drinking no motherfucking liquor no more. Gooch. Kenny Bronco was populating. Darrell Hunt's Huntsman was populating. Codename Mott's was really good. Yeah, bro. You see a nigga with them gloves on, you gotta keep it moving, my nigga. Star, what up? What's populating? Who oh, I'm ignoring? I ain't ignoring nobody, my nigga. Especially if you the bag. If you the bag, make yourself known. Easiest way to make yourself known is them good, bright, them good, bright chats. I don't miss those. I don't miss. I don't miss them. Uh, <laughs> what you call them, shits? I don't miss them super chats, nigga. I can't. I can't ignore them super chats. Nobody can ignore them super chats. Lele, don't stop, don't fuck with my bro Saquon, man. Lele pop up on Saquon on the visiting floor. Man, nah, man. Skibo and them niggas be waiting outside for you. I'm good, man. Lele be fucking with them niggas that's rolling tops in the street. You heard? Them niggas is smoking tops in the street. They rolling up tops. You know what I mean? 
You fuck with Lele if you want to. She fucking with niggas who smoke street. Bugler in the streets, my nigga. She fucking with them niggas that came home from the mountains with a bugler habit. You heard? And they ain't giving that shit up, nigga. Black play four, five, six. See them big, bright, green money chats? Nobody can't miss them shits, nigga. Them shits be blamming. YouTube knew what the fuck they was doing when they made them shits. Like, if you really want a nigga to see your comment, he ain't missing that big green shit right there. I'ma bite that color. For my edits. Star was really good though, was popular. Word, niggas come home with that bugler habit, man. Lele be fucking with them niggas that got a bugler habit. Niggas is trying to rob you to get a new can of bug, you heard? Niggas trying to get that bugle up. Niggas getting that bugle up, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That money is out here. All you see is sketches and, 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 and Marshall sneakers and Walmart sneakers. When you see that on deck, when you see niggas ain't wearing nothing but those Adidas that be in Marshalls and the motherfucking, um, the motherfucking, um, uh, 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 sketches. When them sketches is on deck, that bread is on deck, nigga. You let that shit fool you. Where all the Jordans and Air Maxes is at, Niggas ain't got it, my nigga. Niggas is struggling. When you see them good Sperry's, when you see them good, you see them good, uh, the Adidas that just don't look right, just like they missing some swag. When you see them good sketches with that big good S on the side. Oh, yeah. That bread is around, nigga. That money is around. You heard? Remember that dude that I was in mid I was in Midtown with and he gave me, I gave him his card. He said my sneakers was hot and I said his sneakers was hot. I gave him my card. I'm like, yo, all right, my nigga holla at me or whatever. I be forgetting on my card that should say St. Laz, YouTuber. I forgot what my card says. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all niggas. But I know my card says pimp. Nigga probably saw that shit and was like, pimp. This guy's a pimp. I'm gonna give this card to NYPD. But I was just joking when I said that shit on my card. Hold on, let me show y'all one of my real cards, though. I'm wilding out. Got bank cards all on the camera and all of that. Nigga, just be like this. <laughs> Little do you know, nigga. You be just practicing. Nigga, break it to my bank account, nigga. You be disappointed. <laughs> You'll be mad at me. Fuck, fuck nigga, man. You got me breaking in the shit. But look, here go my card right here. Look. I be giving people my card and I be forgetting my shit say pimp on the bottom. You heard? Word up. Brooklyn Legend Fruit Corn in the building. What's really good? But yeah, my shit say St. Laz, YouTuber, rapper, hustler. Pimp. You heard? Get them contacts is on the back. I mean, I be handing these out like this. You got to have that card, baby. My card? Mm, 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 mm. If y'all could feel this card, this the most silkiest, smoothest card you ever felt in your life, bro. This ain't them regular cards. You heard? This ain't them Reggie cards. These shits is... Mm, mm, mm. When you hand somebody one of these, they be like, oh. You just want to rub on your card, you heard? So it's like, yeah, man. Gotta have them business cards on deck. I bought these just to test and see the quality and how they how they do it. Now I'm about to order some more joints. I'm probably gonna take the pimp thing off of there, you heard? <clears throat> Cause people be really believing that. Pimp? He's a pimp. 
I am a pimp though, you know, I'm, just, I'm not the type of pimp that make a chick go out in the streets and do stuff, but I'm a pimp of life. You gotta pimp life, man. You gotta pimp your way through life some way, somehow. Yerp. Slurp. Brooks Brothers. Good, 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 good Brooks. <clears throat> Yo, I'm telling you, I had a pair of Brooks Brothers that was so fire, I just had to get them shits one time. I had them shits on in the Conway video. I'm going to keep it real with you. Them shits was so fire. Brooks, not Brooks Brothers. Brooks. Some of them Brooks, them, they, they hit the nail on the head with the color spectrum. I had the motherfucking Red Amani Exchange hoodie on. Know what I mean? I said, nah, them shits go with that Red, Red Amani Exchange hoodie, man. I got to toss those on. Niggas ain't going to know what those is. You heard? Sometimes you gotta do that to a nigga. You might find a pair of Brooks. Niggas, you, niggas if you swagging it right, niggas think them shits is Gucci's. That nigga has some crazy shit on. Yeah, and some $50 shits, nigga. You're sh I don't give a fuck. My nigga Schlong of Veli the Dawn was populating, my nigga. My nigga Schlong of Veli in the building, man. <clears throat> Gold medalist schlong diver. Let me stop, man. We ain't gonna start the schlong games, but you coming in the chat room saying crazy shit like I like toes. You saying weird shit like I like toes. <clears throat> Talking about toes and shit, my nigga. When you come in the chat room, the first thing that come out your mouth is something about some toes. I gotta call you schlong Aveli. You heard? Nigga schlong bong, man. AKA schlong Aveli the Dawn, man. AKA Schlongs are us. You heard? AKA the US Olympic Schlong diving team captain. Who the captain, son? Lele. I hate to, I hate to, good sketches, good sketches. Lele, I hate to break it to you, but many of women have wanted me to pimp them, and I calmly turned them down. One time I went to this chick crib, this was way, this was 10,000 years back in case my wife is listening. <laughs> now I'm just saying. One time I, I went to a chick crib, right? Thrash the trick, bing, 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 bing. You heard? Met the broad offline. Like I said, this was light years away. This was light years ago. You know what I mean? I went to the chick crib, met her online. She was bad, you heard? She was bad. She was half Asian. She was Blasian. You heard? So I went to the broad crib, you know what I mean? Thrashed her. Blong, bing, bong, bing, 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 bong, bing, 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 bing. I ain't say, I ain't do no pipe talk. You know how you can't do that? Like, I don't do no yo word of mother, my shit crowd. You know what I mean? I know how to yo word of mother. I ain't do none of that. I ain't say nothing. Went to a crib, smoked a blunt, quiet. Matter of fact, I smoked a blunt outside before I went in the crib. Like this. I was loaded up. Went in the crib. Strike one. Let your, let your seed see me. That's strike one. I mean, she let her seed see me walking walk into the door. Like nah, bro. You know we don't let kids into our business. So if you let your if you let your kid see me, that means you let your kid your kid done seen a lot of niggas coming up in here because it's nothing to them. You heard? So that was strike one. <laughs> strike. You heard? It only take really only take one strike for a nigga like me. I'm just gonna keep it real. You ain't even gotta have three strikes with a nigga like me. You heard? One strike is all it really takes. So it's like, yo, I saw that, I was like, eh. So I ain't say nothing, know what I mean? Chick chilling or whatever, right around her mouth, know what I mean? Yo, know what I mean? Thrash the gru gang gang gong, bing, gring, gang, bang, gring, bing, 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 bang, gring, bing, bing, bang, bing, 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 bing. Thrash the crazy. You heard? Pulled the Eddie Murphy on him. You know how Eddie Murphy be like, nigga get all cold after he make a chick nut, nigga get all cold. So why don't you shake your ass home? 
He said, look, oh, oh, look, my legs, they won't stop shaking. I said, nigga, say some cold shit like, why don't you shake your ass on home then? <laughs> you know, where the nigga, where the nigga put that work in on the chick and she be open, nigga get real cocky immediately. Nigga be like this, fuck up, nigga. Fuck up, nigga. That'd be your whole attitude. After you done, after you done conquered that, you'd be like this, fuck out of here, nigga. You heard? So, you know what I mean? That was my whole attitude. I was like, yeah. You know what I mean? Then the broad hit me up. Yo, we need to get money. Word the mother. You know what I mean? I got mad niggas that be, you know what I mean? I just need a real nigga. I'm like this. I got daughters, bro. I'm too paranoid about karma. You know what I mean? I'm good. I stay away from that lifestyle. You know what I mean? But I do pimp on a different way, though. Go get a job. Get your credit up. Get your money up and then give me your money and go to work. That's the strip. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to sell sex. Go to work in a good job and give me half of your paycheck every time you get it. And, you know, you can get the same feeling. But they don't want to do that. They just want to lay on a bit of the back. And I'm not with that. Good. So lay lay. I would have to turn you down on that pimperology. You heard? Because my pimp, my pimp game is priceless. So it only could go to the elite chicks. You heard? Only elite chicks could download these files when it comes to this pimperism. You feel me? And I've had some elite chicks. Any chick I've ever really had, stress the word had. Owned, hurt. He was elite, man. And to this day, wherever they at, they elite. I only fuck with elites. That's a fact. I only fuck with the elite of the elites. If I run down my 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 chick, and I ain't talking about just looks and none of that. Not me. I'm not talking about just. I'm talking about. Thoroughness. Thoroughness. When a nigga say, yo, she's a thoroughbred. That's all I mess with. That's what I'm attracted to. Thoroughbreds. You heard? I don't care how fat your ass is. I don't care how pretty your face is. You heard? I look good enough for the both of us, baby. They should have never let me read that book, Horse Son. Once I read that book, Donald Goins' Horse Son, I turned into an animal in these streets. You heard? Blame it on Donald Goins. That Horse Son book, it turned me into an animal. If you ain't never read Horse Son, go read that five times before you step out the house. Then I read The Black Man's Guide to Understanding a Black Woman. Don't, don't step out the house until you read that five times. Not saying I agree with every single thing she said in that book, but you need to read that book. Then after that, you need to read The Black Woman's Guide to Understanding the Black Man so you can face your own insecurities and shortcomings. Yep. Then after that, you got to read Are You Still a Slave? Then you're ready for some action. But if you ain't read that Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman, you probably out here getting pimped, my dude. You heard? That's the pimp. Once you read that, you bulletproof with, with, with from being pimped by a chick, my nigga. Tell you. Remember I told you that. Like I said, I don't I'm not saying I agree with every single thing she said in that book because you know it's a very controversial book. And a lot of people get emotional and feelings when that book is mentioned. You understand? But it's a very, very, very deep book. And niggas need to read that. The black man's got to understand the black woman. And a black woman's got to understand the black man. You got to read both, bro. You got to face the music and face with the reality. And she broke niggas. Down. One, I'm gonna tell you, like in, in that book, she says some shit that I don't agree with completely. And the black, um, the black woman's got to understand the black man. She said, any man that did up teen, um, years in the penitentiary. This is what she said. She said, any man who did up teen years, I don't know what she meant by up teen. I don't know if that means like, you know, 15 and 16 and better and shit. 
But she said any man that, that did up teen years in the penitentiary engaged in, in jail sex. That is completely now cipher. You heard? So like I said, I don't agree with everything she said in either book. So don't, 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 don't say that I did. But she said that any man that 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 in, that um did up teen years in jail engaged in, in jail sex. That's a lie. That's a lie, my nigga. I know niggas that had 25, 30 years in. I know niggas who had a dub in. And if you come next to them talking crazy, they gonna get crazy on you. You heard? So that shit is a lie, bro. You heard? But the book is deep, bro. The book is deep. You heard? Shout out to my nigga Larry, man. Yo, my, my nigga Larry, man, that we was in Franklin with, man. My nigga, he had 15 years in. You heard? That was my guy. Yo, this dude is funny, man. He wasn't Muslim, but he always had a kufi on. Because I don't know if something was, I don't know if he ain't like his hair. I don't know what it was. But son had 15 joints in. This was in like 94, 95. Son had the, 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 the glasses and the motherfucking kufi. That was my guy, man. You heard? And he was the main dude that told me that. He said, you know, I don't fuck with that book because of that shit she said. Everybody had to say, that's some bull, that's bullshit, nigga. So I got 15 years in right now. I wish the fuck I would engage in some shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? So, shout out to my bro Larry, man. That dude was a funny motherfucker. Straight up. That nigga used to be trying to <laughs> spot niggas on the bar. Niggas be like, yo, Larry, man, you got 15 in, man. You ain't going to be spotting me on the bar. Niggas be like, yo, stop. Yo, yo, all right, man, cut that shit out, man. All right, man. Like, yo, son, you got 15 in, no, son. You know what I mean? Don't be caressing my hips when, when you when you spotting me on the ball, my lord. Real talk. But nah, that was my bro, man. That nigga Larry, man. That nigga was a funny motherfucker. Man, I was with some niggas, man. The nigga Salam. Know what I mean? The nigga Salam, Muslim Salam from Brooklyn. Psh, I hope son is alive and well. Real talk, man. Salam is a good dude, man. A lot of dudes crossed my path. A lot of great men. I've crossed the paths of a lot of great men, bruh. A lot of real ass niggas and a lot of good dudes, bruh. The fact. That's why these niggas be popping up on this channel like that. But we got some woo wee. We got some heat. I be hating this 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 lot this this angle on this phone. Should be having my head looking like a motherfucking uh you know, I be having a home cut and shit. My shit be looking like a motherfucking ham, man. My head be looking like the shape of a ham, like a Thanksgiving ham. That shit be having me tight, man, from, cer from certain angles, man. You heard? I got to go get a real haircut so my shit can stop looking like a fucking Virginia ham or whatever they call that shit, man. But word is bond, though. We got some heavy heat coming for y'all niggas soon, man. Heavy motherfucking heat, bro. You heard? We might, we might have... We might have one of the niggas who coined the term. See, I don't want to talk too soon. But we might have one of the dudes who coined, who kind of coined the term Bing Monster. Her. Bing Monster. See, you know, Bing Monster has a couple of different meanings. So a nigga could actually call somebody a Bing Monster as a term, like and their whole purpose and soul and whole existence on the earth is for people to, from population that they have beef with to land in the Bing so they can destroy them, you feel me? That's what a Bing monster is. But then you could, like I said, some niggas could be like, yo, that nigga was a Bing monster. But um, either way, we gonna break down the whole history of the motherfucking term Bing monster. That's an L series though, Bing monster series. Like, I mean, just get interviews with some most notorious monsters in Rikers Island history. Who was the first Bing monster? To find out. Who was the first? That's what I would like to know. You know, the Bing existed before we was in, before the 90s and all of that. The Bing was already there, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know what I mean? We need to find out what's going on, bro. You know what I mean? My nigga Schlong of Velvet, how many names you want, son? 
You already got Schlong of Veli to Dawn. You already got Schlong Bong. You already got, son, you Schlonged out, but you keep talking. We gonna make up some more new na new names for you on this motherfucker, son. Now I mean, I'm gonna come up with something real creative for Schlong, son. <laughs> Nigga, Schlong John Silver, man. Nah, that's not. Nah, that's, that's too much of a pause. You heard? But that's the type of sh that's the type of shit you like to hear me say. Schlong talk. <laughs> you ain't a big monster, nigga. You a schlong monster. You heard? You a schlong monster. No schlong is safe when you when you was when you in the building, nigga. You heard? You like a nigga from Population with beef. Schlong monsters in the building, nigga. Just know, at any time, your schlong could be attacked by this schlong monster. Goblin, man. You gotta stop gobbling schlong, son. You heard? You gotta stop gobbling schlong, though, son. Yo, this phone is gonna die out or be bad. You know, I would stay around. I would stay around and, um... Fuck with this nigga schlong monster. <laughs> oh, shit. Niggas calls you schlong monster, son. Niggas be violating you, son. Niggas called you schlong monster. Schlong monster, the notorious gobbler of schlong. Chill, son. I'm the only nigga I'm on live while the game is about to come on. Whole world watching the game. I'm on live some motherfucking where fucking with this nigga schlong monster, man. Nigga schlong monster, man. Allow me to introduce first Schlong of Veli to Dawn Spitting Like the Holy Shalong <laughs> Like the Holy Kong Let me stop man, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop Nah my nigga, but nah My phone going down y'all niggas man, hold on My phone going down, y'all niggas, man. You know what I mean? But fuck it. I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. You heard? I'm going to ride it. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me check and make sure I ain't get a magical approval on another episode. But I just dropped out my pocket, man. Because I stay losing shit. Word is Bon Jovell. Come on, man. Let me make sure another app ain't get approved. So I'll throw it down. Come on, bro. I don't want to see nothing morbid, man. Um, bro, niggas was showing me something morbid. I don't want to see nothing morbidano. Nah, my nigga. I got a story. Damn, you just reminded me of a story I got, though. I got a story about a CO that got, that got robbed on the island for all his jewelry. I got a story about that. I got to find it. I got to dig it up. I got to dig it up, bro. I got too much stories, man. I'm getting overwhelmed with these stories, bro. That's a good problem, though. I like these problems. I got too much content. I got too much content. I need another outlet. You heard? Now, this is a fact, though. My phone going to die, but I'm running my mouth. My phone going to die, but I'm still running my mouth. Listen, bro. I got too much content. You heard? Like, literally, I got enough content to, to, to put shit out on two different channels. You heard? I just need to be making that two different channels money. You heard? But, um, so I'm letting y'all niggas know, man. You know what I mean? Major networks, like, what's them niggas? Um, um, what's Diddy shit again? Revolt and all of that. Listen, Vlad TV and all of that. Vlad Holla at the God with about 7 million, you heard? 
Hit me with about seven million. And I got you with them street stories every day, nigga. Now, but seriously, I got too much motherfucking content to a point where I got to find another outlet. You know, like a major outlet, like Revolt TV or something crazy. So I could do an exclusive series for them niggas and be putting out the same amount of episodes on my channel as I put out on them channel, on them niggas channel and be getting a fucking bag for it. You heard? Because if I was dropping this type of shit right here that I was dropping, let's say I was a segment on Vlad TV. Let's say for two hours a day, the Vlad TV shows Gen Pop, my nigga. We take over the whole world, my nigga. We'll take over the whole fucking world with this jail story shit. You heard? Think about that. Just imagine if I were to put something exclusive like the story of LG. What if I would have did the real story of LG with Vlad TV? You heard? Like, I'm just saying. Just think about that. What if we'd have put that shit out exclusively on Vlad TV? The same exact content. The same exact content, but to those millions of subscribers, my nigga. We talking business here. Business is business as business is business. And if a nigga did that shit, that shit would have generated millions fuck around, nigga. At least 100,000 or something crazy. I can't even be begin to speculate because we don't know what type of numbers that shit would have did on a platform like Revolt or a platform like uh, Vlad TV. These is platforms, my nigga. Now I mean, I ain't hating on niggas. These is, the niggas got big platforms that I wish I had a platform as big as them shits. You feel what I'm saying? Pause. You heard? But imagine we did an exclusive series with a giant platform like Vlad or like fucking Revolt TV. Nigga, that shit will blow this whole channel through the fucking roof, my nigga. Because the millions of motherfuckers that see it on Revolt, they going to try to find the source. When they find out, oh shit, it's 400 other stories I didn't see on this nigga channel, it's over, bro. Them niggas going to start popping up on this channel. You feel what I'm saying? So this shit is all business, my nigga. And I'm always thinking business. So, you know what I mean? I got to find me another platform that, that's big, that got millions of fucking subscribers, and we do a motherfucking series with them niggas. Nigga got two, three million subscribers? I bet. Let's collab. We do a series. I'm going to give you 10 exclusive episodes just for your channel. They not going to be on my channel at all. You're going to be the first nigga uploading it, and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? And let's see the number. And whatever numbers they do, we break bread, nigga. Plain and simple. If I'm doing this shit, I got 50,000 subscribers, we hit that 50,000 subscribers too. Big the fuck up us. You heard? Queens Flip, all of that. If Queens Flip, if I did a series with a nigga like Queens Flip, and I gave that nigga six episodes, yo, boom, I'm doing a series. I'm going to give you all six episodes strictly for your shit. Upload that shit. Nigga, that shit do numbers. Niggas break bread, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? That's how, that's how the game is going to evolve. That's how this shit is going to evolve. I'm going to start giving niggas exclusive stories, my nigga, that they can only find on that channel. And that shit going to blow this channel through the roof. That's a fact. I'm running around with motherfucking remote control trucks and shit. Like, I was trying to see if...